I was out at your castle today inspecting your chimney and I want to take a minute and go over this inspection report so you'll know how it, it uh, reads out. Obviously your name and address and information would be over here on the left hand side. How the right hand side reads out is that that is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something A is consistent with the age of the chimney, B see comments below, C repairs needed, D need further evaluation, or E not applicable. Place into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that you can easily identify in this diagram. And then, of course, your comments will be right here below, comments and suggestions. Um, so let's, uh, let's play the, uh, the intro, and we'll get right into your uh, personal report. Here we go. Hey, Mary, I went out uh, today and inspected the chimney for you. And I want to take a moment and go over this uh, uh, report with you itself. And a nice picture of the front of the house, a beautiful house, great location. We look up on top, and it's got copper flashing all around it. That's a big plus. And this uh, chimney top up here is a, a copper chimney top. It's just beautiful. It looks great up there. Uh, here's a side view of it. It's got a screen around it, keeping the birds, the squirrels, and the rain out. And here's kind of a top view, so you can see what it looks like from the top. Uh, this fireplace has a, a, a gas pan in here, which uh, can be used. Uh, you can put uh, all types of different types of products on there. They've got glass balls, beads, uh, all kinds of different things. It is a vented product, so you want to make sure and leave the damper open when you operate it. Um, this, uh, the surround here is out of code. You have seven and a half inches from the top of the fireplace to this uh, nearest wood uh, surface and you actually need you need 12 inches that's code required uh, otherwise it could overheat on you so that's something you need to think about um, here's what the gas pan looks like when it's operating it uh, doesn't have a controller it's using the uh, floor valve this key valve as a controller but it's working well no problems uh, it does have a damper clamp on here to keep the damper uh, uh, partially open this clamp is placed in a position Whereas if you were um, had a pilot, really it should block the damper wide open if you're using this fireplace. Um, that's for uh, uh, safety purposes. Uh, remember, uh, this this uh, device uh, is producing a, a lot of carbon monoxide, and you don't ever want to put yourself in a position where you close the damper, forget to open it, and fire that up and, and fill the house up with carbon monoxide. So if you get some product in there and you want to use that, just make sure that you leave the damper wide open all the time. Uh, view of the flu system, don't see any problems with that. Questions for me, though, give me a call, 704 Five two six sixty three forty eight. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Hey, let's run the credits, shall we?